I'm Steve Monticelli from Navistar's used truck organization and I'd like to show you some of the features and benefits of this 2015 ProStar. First of all I'd like to talk about the aerodynamics and the fuel efficiency of this truck. When Navistar designed this truck we spent millions and millions of dollars one million dollars making it the most aerodynamic highway tractor on the market at that time and it still is the most high, fuel efficient aerodynamic unit that you will find on a used truck lot today. We started using the typical computer fluid com computational dynamics. We built some test units. We put them into a wind tunnel in Ottawa, Canada. And the reason we decided on that wind tunnel is that it was designed for aircraft and it was large enough for us to put a full size tractor with a trailer behind it on a turntable and not only get aerodynamic readings from head on but we were able to turn the truck and trailer and get side angles, halfways, all kinds of different dynamics and different aerodynamic readings from it. So we made an extremely aerodynamic truck and I want to show you a little bit about it. It's designed with everything as being as, as much as possible flush mount. Your headlights, are all Lexan, almost unbreakable. The hood is a composite material, it is not a fiberglass. Now the advantage to that is it is lighter and that it's stronger than fiberglass. And you notice we seamed the hood right here so that if you do damage it, damage this corner, you replace this section of the hood rather than the entire hood itself. This results in less downtime, less cost to repair, and better overall low cost of ownership. You notice the bumper, we did the same thing. We've seen the bumper because it seems to be that these corners are what gets damaged the most often. Now you can replace this section of the bumper without having to buy the entire bumper. When you get to the grill, the grill a lot of times in certain areas you tend to hit some deer and some wild, wild game. The grill is pops out with a couple of bolts here, a couple of clips, and you snap a gr new grill in. Again, you're looking at low cost of ownership because the downtime is lower, the cost to repair is lower, your labor costs are lower, and it means more time to generate revenue on the road for you. As we step over to this side of the truck, you'll see that the mirrors are breakaway style. If your driver happens to hit another truck, or a dock door or something like that when he's backing into a dock, these mirrors will break right away and you just snap it back into place and put it back there. Again, it's low cost of ownership because you don't have the damage of some of our competitors that don't have these mirrors. You could have to replace an entire door skin if you hit the mirror the wrong way. We've got flush mount glass here, flush mount glass here, the door handles are all flush mount. These are all aerodynamic features. These are things that, that are guaranteed to give you better fuel economy. You know, at, at 55 miles an hour, 50% of the fuel that this truck burns is to overcome wind resistance and aerodynamics. So the more fuel efficient we can make it, the more aerodynamic we make it, means more money in your pocket as an owner. You come back here and you see we have flush mount here. You don't have a handle here. You open this with a key. Now some, some other products have a, have a cable and a little handle inside the door and the advantage to open it with a key is those cables tend to bind after a while and then the cargo doors don't open. Windows on the bunk are also flush mounted. Superior aerodynamics here. We have chassis skirts in aerodynamics. Now we spent a lot of time on this part of the aerodynamics by just the way that we shaped this little wedge here, this little bevel. Many of the uh, people wanted to bring this, this chassis skirt all the way back to the drive wheels. The problem with that is if you do blow a tire, 
you also take out a chassis skirt at that time and it gets to be a very expensive proposition for you. When we come along this side, I'm going to take you up into the truck and show you some of the features inside that are creature comforts. Now here in the driver's compartment, our goal was to make this truck as driver friendly as possible. All of the gauges are very easy to read, all of the switches are very easy to reach, and the switches are actually programmable. We have a what's called a Diamond Logic electrical system that allows us to program switches wherever the driver would like it. That system also reduces wiring in the cab by about 40 percent so that it, again we're looking at low cost of ownership and ease of repair. The steering wheel is built with driver controls on them. We have a headlight interrupt switch, cruise control switches, a marker interrupt switch, air horn, engine brake, and radio controls. So once the driver learns the positions and the, of these switches, his eyes never read the, leave the road and his hands never leave the steering wheel to engage any of these features. When we look at the sleeper, the sleeper is a 73 inch bunk. This particular one does not have the upper berth, but it does have a tremendous amount of storage on both sides. It has a work cabinet here. It has storage down here if you wanted to put a refrigerator. The bunk is actually two inches wider than our older product. Let's face it, the American public is getting a little bit larger as we get older and so we went to a bigger bunk. The bunk also flips up so that you have access to your cargo compartments without having to get out of the vehicle. Another benefit of this ProStar is the cab construction is steel rather than aluminum. There are a couple of benefits to that. It is lighter than the aluminum cab and it is stronger than the aluminum cab. Now a lot of our competition uses aluminum cabs and the logic they use for that is the rust with steel. But you know today's e-coating and, and steel manufacturing processes and coating processes make rust an issue of the past. We're not in the 50s anymore and you see cars and trucks going down the road today that are 12 and 15 and 20 years old and they don't have rust issues. So the durability of steel is certainly an advantage for you. Now one of the best features of this engine is that it was engineered to develop peak torque at a thousand RPM which is just above idle. So it allows the truck to be certainly more fuel efficient because it reaches peak torque much earlier. You don't have to struggle to get into that torque range. It also lowers the operating range of the engine. A lot of diesel engines, you're generally cruise at 1650 or 1700 RPM. With this engine, you cruise most efficiently at 1375 RPM. A couple of benefits to that. Number one, again, is fuel efficiency. Another thing though, and what people don't necessarily talk about real often, is that when everybody talks about the life of their engine, many people say it's a million mile engine. But we all know that really miles and the engine life don't have a lot to do with each other because there are certain applications where you not be, might not be driving but certainly using the engine. Then they talk about engine hours, but that might not be truly accurate either. The real bottom line on engine life is that you've got a mechanical piston going up and down in a bore and it's going to go up and down X amount of, X amount of times, X amount of billion times before it comes apart, before it fails. 
So if I can get you down the road at 65 miles an hour, running at 1,375 RPM, as compared to the 1,700 RPM that many other engines are running, we've got a 20% reduction in engine speed. By simple physics, that equates to a 20% longer lasting engine. I'd like to point out some of the features and benefits under the hood of this truck. First of all, your headlight bulbs and your turn signal bulbs are both able to be changed without any tools whatsoever. So your driver can change them on the road, don't have service calls, we don't have to have tools in the cab. Another thing is that all of the driver's daily checks are either brightly marked in yellow or they're in opaque type containers and receptacles so that it's more likely that the driver does his daily checks. Another real nice feature of this, and I talked briefly about the Diamond Logic electrical system, is that there is a pre-trip inspection button on the dash that when you push the button and set this sequence, it will automatically cycle your headlights, your high beams, your turn signals, your four-way flashers, your brake lights, so that a driver can do his pre-trip inspection as a one-person show rather than have someone up in the cab switching turn signals and so forth. Again, more possibility that he's going to do the checks that are required by the DOT and that we really want him to do, but let's face it, a lot of times guys will cheat on if they don't have the extra people to help them. Now, the real heart of this truck is our N13 engine. Now, this engine is pretty unique and we spent a lot of time with it. The block, head, crank, and so forth are all of German design from an engine manufacturer named Mann. Mann Engine is probably the largest engine manufacturer in Europe. This design has been in place for 20 some years and is proven and tried and true. Actually, Mann Engine was started, uh, the company was started by a man named Rudolf Diesel who was the inventor of the diesel engine. So we know we have great technology here. And some of this technology is things like we have a compacted graphite iron block and head. Compacted graphite iron is different from gray iron in that it is stronger and it is lighter and it is more durable. This is the lightest class eight engine on the market today. It's approximately 600 pounds lighter than an ISX engine is. Next, you go to the cylinder connecting rod and main bearing cap configuration on these. On most engines, those machined parts are, are exactly that, they're machined. They're bolted together and you have two machined surfaces that are bolted together and you hope they don't slip. With our design, we create and, and cast the block and the connecting rods as one piece with the caps on them. We score them and we hit them with a hammer and actually fracture it is what it's called. We break the connecting rod cap off and the main bearing cap off. The result is that you don't have that very smooth machine surface. You have a surface that's, that's meant to be put right together with each other because that's the way it was cast. And when we bolt it together, you have a significant amount more strength, less movement, and connecting rod bearings and main bearings last a lot longer on this. Now we also coupled this with a Bosch fuel injection system. It's a high pressure, common rail fuel injection system that's got pressures up over 30,000 pounds. It's a very sophisticated system and what it allows us to do is to have multiple injection events in a single stroke of the piston. The traditional way of a diesel engine running is that as the piston comes up on the compression stroke, there's a big slug of fuel that gets dumped in by the fuel injector and it creates an explosion. Our fuel, is, our fuel injection system is sophisticated enough that we can have multiple injection events and what we do is as the piston starts to come up we spray a little bit of fuel in there to create a little fire and warm that cylinder up a little bit. Then as it gets near top dead center we put a little bit more in to start that combustion. Then at the top dead center we put a big slug like the other guys do and we get a lot of combustion going. And then when the piston is coming down on the exhaust stroke or on the power stroke we have put a little bit more fuel in there to burn all of the hydrocarbons that might be there. So we're helping emissions, we're driving fuel economy by making that burn a lot longer 
a lot smoother, it creates a much quieter engine, and, and just does a really, really good job for us. Then the last part of this engine is that we married this great MAD engine and this fine Bosch fuel injection system to Cummins SCR or Selective Catalytic Reduction technology. So we use DEF fluid, diesel exhaust fluid to control emissions. The result is a 4% gain in fuel economy over previous models. This engine is as quiet and as efficient as you'll find in anything. I'm going to start it up for you. Now, when I shut this hood, I can talk in a normal tone of voice. We don't have to yell at each other. And even if we get up into the cab area, let's go back up there again. I'm going to roll up these windows so you can hear how quiet it is in this cab. Now, sitting in the cab with the engine running, you notice that I don't have to raise my voice at all. I can speak in a completely normal tone and you don't have any problem hearing me. Again, we're looking at an engine that's extremely quiet, a cab that is well designed and well insulated, and it's all based on driver retention and the reduction of driver fatigue. We want to make sure that driver stays with you. We want to make sure that driver stays alert and stays safe, less downtime, more revenue in your pockets. There's a link above me right now, and I'd love for you to click on that link and schedule a test drive at one of our 14 used truck centers across the company. We'd love to have you come out, put your hands on, and actually drive one of these trucks and see what an amazing piece of equipment it is. We'd love to earn your business. We'd love to talk to you. Please come and see us. Thank you for your time.